Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch my Timu haul. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel and you like my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you would, if you're here watching. I would really appreciate that. It helps out my channel quite a bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little Timu haul today. Um, I have a couple bags. It looks like a lot of home decor. So decor, 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 however you wanna say it. Um, so yeah kind of looks like that but who knows I don't think it's gonna be a super long haul but a haul nonetheless so here we are thank you so much for stopping by like I said before and also if you need any links I'm going to try and put them down in the description box um, sometimes Timu won't let me link my whole order if that happens give me about a day to kind of fill in the blanks in my description box um, with the actual links so yeah so on my last video I did go back and put all the links for the items in the description box i guess my link to my order wasn't working so with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into this i probably had this stuff sitting around for a while now but i was online watching some youtube videos and i'm like man i need to go downstairs and get a haul I, or, or do a haul you know it was like couldn't wait to get down here so because i love showing you guys things that i find you know and i always like watching other hauls because i see things on other channels that i would never see in my feed so Anyway, okay, let's just get this started. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys, which I kind of was messing with this earlier, but it was $6.71. It comes in this box, and it is this birch tree, and I feel like, I feel like maybe, hey, everybody has one of these, or somebody I watch, I think, got one. Now, of course, it didn't come like this. I kind of had to you can move these around whatever way you want, but it kind of looks like birch through here, if you can see. If it doesn't, I don't know. Can you tell it kind of looks like birch? I mean, obviously not real birch. Um, I wonder if I can plug this in and show you guys what it looks like lit up. Let's see if I can do that. I didn't even try to light this thing up. There is a, is there a place for batteries too? There is a thing for bat, like I think you open this and you can put batteries in here. But there's a cord, so I'm assuming you can plug it in if you want to, which is nice. So you have the option to either use batteries. It looks like three AA batteries. Or you can plug it in. So there it is lit up. I can barely reach my thing over there. But it's got like a warm kind of glow to it. Not really white, which I like. So yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to use this at. Um, maybe in my living room. I'm not sure. I love to have lights set up everywhere. Okay. But I like to put lighting in certain areas just to kind of create an ambiance. So, oh, it's stuck to my hair. So, yeah, that's my first purchase. And so I think it's kind of cool. But, I mean, it's it's obviously not real birch. But it, it's just as nice as the light you would get anywhere else. So, you know, there's that. But when someone looks at it, they're not going to be like, where did you get that? It doesn't look real you know so i don't know okay so i am not sure why i got this <laughs> but, but it's a sports watch um so i'll give it to brian uh it was 29.99 anyway uh i don't know why i bought it but it it looks like it says halo on it i don't know let's open it up and see um he doesn't have a sports watch but i guess maybe i was trying to see i think there might be some tech gadget items in here so but this is $30 on um it says it's black $30 on Timu Temu Timu and of course I don't want to break a nail opening it but okay here we go um this thing is big I mean like the, it does say halo on it is it like a halo the game yeah it's like the game see the face of it it says Halo over here, so, and then that's a Halo character, so, I don't know, but it's, this peels off, and then there's the face of it, but this thing's pretty substantial. I mean, honestly, it's probably worth the 30 bucks then, to be quite honest with you. Comes with a user manual, comes with the power cord, and I'm glad it comes with a user manual because, pff, yeah, so it goes on your Bluetooth, but yeah, I mean, that watch is substantial look at that thing i don't know but yeah it says halo i did not know it said halo um doesn't i don't know if it has anything to do with the game or not i know my kid used to play that game he might still i don't know but yeah so that's what it looks like i mean that face of that watch is huge 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if when you turn it on, I don't even know how to turn this on, y'all. Like, I just do not know. Anyway, maybe the face, I'll bet when it lights up, this face is on the front. I'll bet, I'll bet. But anyway, so yeah, that, that was 30 bucks. Um, a little on the expensive side, but I mean, think of how much you pay for like Apple watches and stuff, you know, and this looks just as good. And like, there's like, that face is metal. So if you're looking like for a Christmas gift for somebody or birthday gift, I, I think this is great. It's packaged great. It looks good. So yeah, $30 for that though. Okay. <clears throat> More gadgets. Um, This was... How much was it? Let's look. $14.99 for this. What am I? Am I a billionaire? Why? What am I? Am I shopping like a billionaire now? It's a three-in-one magnet, magnetic wireless charger stand. Um, whether or not this will actually work with my stuff, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. But, and of course, it's got a piece of tape right here. I mean, I don't know. I, th I feel like when I read it, it said it was like universal but i don't i don't know if that's the case or not um yeah whoa so there's the charging cord and it says you can put like all kinds of different things on here so like your watch or so i don't know it might charge that watch that i just got um where did i just see that yeah so here there's like a little thing that on the package here that says like a phone or your earbuds or a watch but this is what this looks like how cool is that so, I don't know. I guess we'll try it, but there's like a little spot right here you can sit something on. You can put something here. There, it must be magnetic, but you can see on the page, like, they put the phone here, and then he put his earbuds, like, underneath here. So, I, I don't know. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. So, we'll see if it works or not. I'm going to try it. I, I hope it works with something that one of us has. <laughs> I mean, I hope it's not like a thing where you have to have like an iPhone or something for it to work because this is not an iPhone house, an iPhone friendly home. Um, I mean, we have like, you know, we have uh, Samsung phones and just tablets, Android tablets. So I don't know. Here's to hoping it works. I will keep you posted on this. Um, I just don't know. It is a magnetic wireless charger stand. I don't know. So we'll see. Hopefully, I didn't see a user manual in there and it said there was one, but I didn't see one in there. So I'm not sure about that. But if it actually works with my things, I will let you know. Okay, this is just a type C phone cable. I buy a million of these. It was $3.49. It's six feet. I buy so many cables, like you can't even believe it. I take them to work. I leave them in my car. They're in my purse. They're, you know, I always have like one to travel with. So yeah. And these are really nice. Like, they're just really well made. Like, all of their cables are really well made. Like, I don't know. They're just, it's like a fast charging cable. So, love that. And for $3.49, like, most cables like this are like $14 in the store. So, you really can't beat Timu's prices for cords. Okay, this is a set of USB flash drives. Um, they were $9.99. You get one, two, three, four, five five of them. I like to put information on these pictures, tax, tax stuff. Um, does it say how much? 200, there's 256 megabytes in each one. So that's quite a bit of space. If you just want to throw some pictures on here or some data or some info, or you need it for work, but I like to save pictures that just, or taxes. Like I'll maybe do one that's just my taxes and one that's my son's so that you can just keep it on this little flash drive. So I think that's a good buy for 10 bucks. You get five of them and they're 200, 256 megabytes each. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Okay. Another phone cord, of course, this is a USB data cable. Again, type C. I got it in rose gold. It was a dollar 99. Again, I buy a ton of these cords. I probably have a million between these and like earphones I always buy a whole bunch so I really like the ends of this one it's just really nice just a really nice cord so just remember if you need a cord for like a couple bucks get them off Timu because you can't beat you cannot beat the price of this kind of stuff on Timu and they work so they work great so I always stock up on them speaking of here's another one only this one was 249 but it is six feet that one i just put down there was like three feet so it was only a dollar 99 but this one's six feet and it is 249 same exact cord usb data cable in the rose gold 
Love that. Always need an extra cord. Okay, oh, this was like so cute. I don't know if I actually super like it or not, but it was $3.49 and it's a, uh, it's, <laughs> it's this big gummy, <laughs> pink gummy bear. Okay, so what this is, is it's a pop socket and it goes on the back of your phone like that. And sorry if you can hear people walking around upstairs, Brian's up there walking around, but yeah, it's like a pop socket for your phone. But how stinking cute is it? They had this in all different colors and of course I got this one. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. Kind of cool. I might put that in a giveaway though. We'll see. I don't know. It's not, su it's not like super duper my style, but I thought it was really cool. Like kids would love this for their phones or teenagers. I don't, I mean, you know, I'm 50, so I don't know if it's super age appropriate, but I, I thought it was really cool. And there's a little bit of glitter to it. So it's really fun. It's really a fun piece. Okay. Yet another cord. Um, this one is six feet. It is two forty nine. It's just a white USB data cable. Again, I buy tons of these. I keep them stashed everywhere. They're really nice. They're just really, really good quality. So, you know, if I would go to like a convenience store right now or Dollar General or something, these would be like fourteen bucks. So, if I can pay three or four bucks for them, I'm getting them off there, off off of Timo for sure. This bag is almost empty. Okay, last thing in here are, I bought these, they're like stands for my laptop at work. Um, or not my laptop, for my keyboard. Because I had a keyboard that had the stands on the back, but it broke, so I'm bar I borrowed my old boss's keyboard, and it's very, very flat, and there's no stands under it. I'm like, how did this guy type? So these were $3.99. Um, let me get them out of here. I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like. You get two of them. And then you just put them on the bottom of your keyboard with some, like, 3M sticky tape. That's what these are for. They're, of course, stuck together, and I think they give you extra ones. But, yeah, you just put the tape on here. Put it under your keyboard so that you can raise your keyboard up. You know what I mean? Just little keyboard stand type things. But, yeah, they were $3.99. But, yeah, I don't know why my boss, my old boss, he didn't like to, like... I like my keyboard to be, like, raised a little bit in the back. I don't know. It's just me, I guess. But <laughs> it's just the way I type. So, yeah, that's why I got those. So, $3.99. And they're they're weighty. Like, they're very good quality, quality item there. Okay. Let's get into some home decor, as I like to call it. Um, or at least most of this or some of this might be anyways. Uh, I saw somebody get these seagrass baskets. And I wish I could remember who it was. Um, but yeah, so it's a seagrass basket. This one was eleven seventy nine. It is eighteen by twenty one centimeters. Um, I love to put potted plants in these or fake plants. You know, you don't always have to have real plants in your house. Uh, so yeah, it's like a seagrass basket, and it just pops out of the center like the like so. And it's got these two handles, and there's like this leather part right here. I love these. Let this one, and it's two different colors. If you can see, it like goes into like a darker color. But I love these just to have like a potted plant in them, or put your cat toys in them, or whatever you want to put in it. But I like the way they smell too. <laughs> they smell like seagrass, so yeah. Almost twelve bucks, eleven ish. But I think it's really nice. But I think they look so good with like greenery in them or a potted plant. So yeah. Love them. Very kind of farmhousey. Super love it. Okay. I don't know what is in here, but it was $8.49. I'm a big spender. I didn't even open it. How did I know what the price How did I even know what was in here? Sorry, guys. Brian's walking around upstairs. If you can hear footprints. Foot, can you hear footprints? You know what I mean. If you can hear footsteps. Okay. $8.49 for this. Oh, it's just like a little wooden riser. I don't know why I thought this was worth $8.49. <laughs> but if you get something like this and you don't like the color, I, I would probably paint this. Um, it's not raw wood. It's probably stained, but it's just a little wood riser um, to set stuff on. But I don't know if this is worth $8.49. I mean, I'm going to be quite honest. It says scrap rustic wood. Yeah, no kidding. $8.49 though for this. Like I probably could have bought a couple pieces of plywood and made this myself. So you gotta watch, you know, like if you're crafty and you can make this stuff yourself, don't buy it on Timu. 
for, because it was like nine bucks. But I will probably distress this, like put some white paint on it and distress it back just so it looks a little bit more distressed. I don't know if it's worth nine bucks though. Mm, not, mm, I don't know. Like I said, you could, I, I think I have wood outside that I could have made that with for way cheaper than that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, next up, you know with me with wooden utensils, what is it with me and wooden utensils? These were $11.49. It's a five-piece set, but I love the way these look in a kitchen. I'm like getting rid of all my other utensils and just using stuff like this. Look at this set. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. $11.49. It almost makes me like not want to use it. I mean, I don't know. That one has some, that's just like a slotted... I don't know, like, do you, would you use these, or do you think they're just for decoration? Eleven forty nine, though, I feel like I should probably use them. But I, someone had suggested just, like, rub cutting oil, uh, cutting board oil on them to wash that, you know, wash them up and then put some cutting board oil. But aren't they just pretty to, like, set out in a kitchen somewhere? Like, I don't know, I just really like the aesthetic of them. So, yeah, eleven forty nine for five pieces. So, again, not sure. I don't even know what kind of wood this is. It doesn't say... Um, but I love wood utensils. I love the way they look in a kitchen. I think we're going through this really fast, guys. Okay, let me pull this out. Okay, so I am super impressed with this wreath. Um, it was $9.99, and it is, does it say what size it is? I can't see. Purple, it says purple flocking. It's like lavender, but I would say it's maybe like 18 inches across, but it is it is really cute. Like, if you go to TJ Maxx or whatever and you get, like, a fake lavender, faux lavender wreath, you know, it's usually more than 10 bucks. Now, this has flocking on it, so it's probably going to go everywhere. But, yeah, it needs zhuzhed, but you'll get the, you know, it needs zhuzhed out. But I don't want to do, I want to do it outside because I can already see the flocking, like, going everywhere. But how pretty is it? Like, obviously, it needs uh, some zhuzhing, but how pretty is it going to be? I mean, super pretty. I'm going to put this outside on the deck, maybe, because I have this green, like, ladder type of... It's like green... It's like an old green shutting door type of thing. I don't know. I don't even know how I want to explain it, but it's like uh, shutters. That's what I... Menopause brain again. Yeah, it's it's green shutters, really tall green shutters. But I thought this would look really pretty on it for spring. So yeah, but for nine ninety nine, that is a freaking bargain, okay? Because it's really pretty. Like look how pretty it would be up on the wall here. I mean, yeah, super pretty. Hey kitty, here comes Delilah to check everything out. Okay, this was two ninety nine. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh, it looks like maybe a. Oh, it's a um canvas we're having trouble with words today it's a canvas of a cow print i thought this would be really cute in a picture frame like or you could put wood like around it you can buy picture frames off of timu but i have some white um fence wood outside and i was gonna make a frame with it and put this in it but i mean that's really cute isn't it a little cow picture for 2.99 they have a lot of really nice uh canvases on there i bought quite a few nice ones off there they have some really nice churches or if you want, want to put certain pictures up for christmas but yeah it's just a little cow canvas for 2.99 and then if you find a few pieces of wood to put around it yeah i mean because pictures are so expensive like if you go anywhere like kirkland's walmart or wherever yeah okay this is a little wreath maybe there's two wreaths in here i think there's two i have no idea what i was going to do with these um, it says it's garland, but I will find out. But it was eleven forty nine, and they've got bows on them. But I will tell you, I didn't know this until I bought these. I remember now when I looked at these. Um, they also need judged, but ooh, can you pull them apart? I didn't realize that the bows that came on them, which this bows, oh, they go like this. So if you could put it, the bow like hang it off of something. But I didn't realize the bows had like snowflakes on them so mm, these are gonna have to wait till christmas or something but they're flocked like i don't know if that that's not eucalyptus but they've got some berries on them but yeah they came with these thing you know extra ribbons so you can hang them on something but i'm probably going to use these in the winter time so i don't want to zhuzh them out too much but as you can see they're like flocked 
But yeah, I didn't know when I, I just thought they were like black and white buffalo check. I didn't realize it had snowflakes on it. So mm, yeah, <clears throat> these are going to have to wait till winter of next year. But you got two of them for $11.49. I don't think that's too terrible. I think that's pretty good price. But again, they just need a little bit of zhuzhing and they'll look really nice once you floof them out a little bit. Okay, more wooden utensils. Of course, why not? This was two pieces for $7.99. Ooh. I don't know what Brian's doing up there. It sounds like he's running water. So ignore that. So yeah, two pieces for $7.99. It's like a salad spoon and fork. I like them. But I just think that wood utensils look so good on a countertop with like in a container. I don't know. I'm like obsessed with wooden tools apparently. So, but two pieces for $7.99. I don't know. I probably could have bought something similar to yard sale or something and didn't and not spend nearly that much. Okay, next up, let me dig deep, is some more of these like wooden beads. This was $2.79, and I'm gonna tell you that those other beads I've gotten in the past that are painted are way bigger than these. Um you know, like in length and, and the bead size. So these for $2.79, you can, I mean, this is actually really short. The other ones I bought that were the same price, they were way long and they were actually colored, but you could paint these any color that you want. I just kind of like to wrap these around like bottles and, and stuff. Um, you know, I like this color too. I just kind of like to leave it a little bit natural, but it comes with these great tassels, uh, on them. So yeah. But $2.79 for this short one, mm, I don't know. I mean, I bought bigger, bigger, longer ones on Timu for the same price. So, you know, watch watch the length on things because that will get me sometimes the length and size in the description. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's another seagrass basket. This one was $5.79. I'm not sure what I was going to use these for, but this one is white on the bottom. Ooh, and you pull it out and it's like green on the top. So I thought they were like really springy looking. Um, there's no leather on these ones, but again, these were $5.79. That other one I showed you was 11 So that's what the inside looks like. It's just a seagrass basket. Very like nature-y, natural looking. Um, great to put a potted plant in again or any kind of plant or put this as a base as one of your faux artificial trees or, you know, whatever. But yeah. So I think I might have another one of these, but this one was $5.79. I kind of like that bigger one better, but I don't know. Anyway, okay. I probably overpaid on this, but I don't know, because it was only $6.39, so that's like not super bad. It was $6.39. I edited out the paper portion. It took me forever to get it out of there. It's just like a distressed looking metal pitcher, and it says flowers and garden. Um, but yeah six dollars and 39 cents i don't know what do you guys do you guys think that's too much but how cute would this look with like some florals some tulips or something out I, I love it i love putting flowers in containers and putting them everywhere maybe this will go back back here at some point in time so love that i'm making a mess i've got flocking like everywhere <laughs> okay couple more items all right these are just eucalyptus stems i believe so they were 6.99 and you get 20 pieces sounds pretty pretty good let's open these up and see what 20 pieces actually looks like though wait there's no, it, it's not all eucalyptus that's not true there's one that well yeah it's still eucalyptus it just looks different so 6.99 um there's 20 pieces here so there's like one two three four five five and ten maybe so i love eucalyptus i love the way it looks in the spring it's very farmhousey it's very i love like just greenery everywhere um, so this is what you get is all these stems, like so. These are really pretty. I really like these. They look really good. Very, very good. So yeah, you got your little watering can, boom, just like that. There you go. So yeah, and then it comes with this kind of eucalyptus stem, which is a little bit different. Um, so these, these are still eucalyptus, I believe, but it's just a different look to them. So they need fluffed out. But yeah, these are nice. I like those. I mean, yeah. So it just adds a little bit of green to your house. So nice. Trying to clean up as I go along here. 
All right. Okay, this is a sign of some sort. I feel like somebody else got this too. Maybe Diane from Mimi's Life. Maybe. I'm not sure. It was $6.99. It's a chicken and it says fresh. No, it says farm eggs, not fresh eggs. So, yeah, let's take this out. I mean, it's like plywood type of situation on the back. It comes with these two hangers. And this is what it looks like. I would probably whitewash this a little bit just so that it's not real super shiny. Like, you know what I mean? And, yeah, I don't know. It looks distressed, though. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, I like it. Fresh farm eggs. So, yeah. They're just cute to sit in your kitchen. I thought it was really nice. I'm pretty sure that Diane got that, too. <laughs> like I said, we always get kind of the same thing. Okay. Next is this. It's $15.99. These are five pieces of olive branches. I think I might have got these for my... I got these, like, tall um, base, base planters, like, in my living room. And I don't know if these are the really long pieces or not. Maybe they aren't. But I needed some, like, really long pieces. But I don't... Well, yeah, these are long. So they're olive branches. Let me straighten them out a little bit here. Mm. There's leaves falling everywhere. So you get the, these are $15.99. And you get five pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So again, once you judge them out, they'll be much bigger. But this is kind of what they look like. You can see they got the little olives in them. Very farmhousey. I thought they were really pretty. But I have... So they're very long. They're on these like really long stems. But I have these like really tall like containers upstairs and I'm like I need to put something in these things I've had them forever it's like a planter but it's wood so yeah I'm gonna take these upstairs and try and judge them up these for $15.99 worth it I mean I don't know I mean I love them I love the look of them I look like I'm in the jungle you know eating an olive you know mm, yeah I don't know I don't know let me know. Let me know if you think that those are worth $16. Mm. I just don't know. But here's like a leaf up close. Like, look how realistic it looks. It's very, it looks very realistic. It doesn't look plasticky or too shiny or anything like that. Okay, is this the last item? Yep. Last, but certainly not least, <clears throat> is this sign for $9.49. It says, I still remember the days I prayed for what I have now. And that is so true. I am very, I feel very blessed in life right now. I have, I really do. Um, but I'm also very happy with what I have in life. So that's, that's the key. If you're happy with what you have, that's the key to life. Um... So yeah, $9.49 for this. It's wood around here, so I love that. And it does have two sawtooth hangers on the back on each end. But yeah, I really love that. I still remember the days I prayed for what I have now. I don't like that it's super shiny, but you know what you can do is take like matte Mod Podge and just kind of wipe, you know, wipe it over it. And it'll, you know, make it look not shiny, which would be nicer. But yeah, I really like this. For 10 bucks for a sign, I'm probably going to put this in my living room or my kitchen. Maybe my, maybe my bathroom. No, I feel like it should go in the living room. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, it was almost 10 bucks, but it was well worth it. So I like that there's actual wood trim on it. <laughs> All right, guys. I know that was kind of quick, little short haul, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you've seen anything you liked, I'm going to try and link everything down below. There will either be one link to my whole order, or if I can't do that, I it'd give me like a day to put all the links in there. Or just ask me for a link. I don't mind giving you a link. I don't mind that at all. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the haul, and have a great day. I hope you're having a good week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.